Welcome to this overview of the Mentor Faculty Activity Reporting System. On the home page of Mentor, you can see here the uh, various components of, of Mentor. We're going to focus on faculty reporting. And the default page here is the reports page. We're going to come back and look at some of these reports, the annual reports, three-year three report, uh, and so forth uh, in just a minute. Uh, first, let's take a look at the teaching tab. Teaching tab lists uh, courses that the, the faculty member has taught. Uh, the data here, the enrollment data, comes in from your student information system, is imported into Mentor, and each faculty member's teaching tab uh, page, course enrollment page, is automatically populated. Faculty can then upload to their courses uh, a syllabus. Uh, they can upload or, or rather uh, select course objectives if you have uh, learning outcomes to find for your courses and want to track those across courses. Uh, the faculty can upload their course evaluation reports uh, and any additional items. So any of these files, this data appears uh, in their annual report automatically with, uh, with this data. There's a tab here for course releases, and faculty can list their course releases, or this can be input administratively, uh, and this becomes part of the uh, reporting as well. It's a page for advisees. If advisees are defined in your student information system, they will uh, appear here automatically. Uh, faculty can write notes or list the advisees or the count of advisees that they have if uh, you don't have the advisee information imported automatically into Mentor. It's a page for additional academic work with students. It's a simple text field, and faculty can type in a report here on uh, such, such work that they do with students. Curriculum development, likewise, it's a simple text field that faculty can type in and talk, talk about the curriculum development work that they've done. Each of these pages is uh, tagged to an academic year, so they can make these reports each academic year. Scholarship. Mentor is a bibliographic database of faculty scholarship. So you can see here is a list of articles. Uh, there are types uh, or, or page, uh, there's a page to list each of the different types of publications uh, as well as presentations. The input form uh, is, it depends upon the type of publication it is. So this is the input form form for uh, an article. Uh, and the uh, journal, we actually have the journals listed uh, in Mentor and as one types in the name of the uh, journal, Journal of Medicine, for instance, uh, it's already there. And this ensures that the journal titles are consistent uh, across different faculty. Uh, various uh, standard data here, volume issue, month, day, etc. Uh, field for the digital object identifier and so forth. Keywords, the title and the keywords are indexed by Mentor, so they're searchable. Um, and then there's some uh, annual reporting uh, fields here, so the publication categories are peer reviewed, editor reviewed, and so forth. Uh, its status is it published, accepted, submitted. Publication scope, uh, national, international, uh, acceptance rate if it's known, uh, number of student co-authors, uh, and an annual reporting date. And this date uh, field is used for uh, those cases where a, pub a publication uh, has been accepted, but it's not going to be published, say, for another year. Uh, and the faculty member wants to get credit uh, on their current annual report for that uh, publication. They can put in an annual reporting date here to ensure that it shows up in the current year's annual annual report. And then there's a notes field for uh, the publications. Uh, there's also on the view page, uh, faculty can upload full text uh, and then that full text becomes available. Uh, so you can see here this is the uh, full data uh, of the uh, publication here with uh, notes and so forth. Um, and this is how it's going to look on the annual report for the purposes of the CV and in some other contexts, only the, the just the citation is going to appear. Presentations, uh, essentially the same thing. There are several different types of uh, presentations, conferences, lectures, and seminars, media interviews. Um, <clears throat> and again, faculty can simply input these. Uh, alternatively, we have it set up so that secretaries uh, of different departments can be assigned, or in fact, uh, TAs can even be assigned to input this data on behalf of faculty. There's a page for creative expressions uh, for the artists. Uh, so we've got recordings, exhibitions, and performances. And then we have a page for grants. 
and finally for academic honors. Uh, so then let's go to the service tab. Service is broken down into professional service, community service, institutional service, and committee service. So these first three, professional, community, and institutional, uh, behave just like a publication in that the faculty member gets an input form to put uh, these items in. And uh, same is true for community, community and institutional service. Committee service is actually a uh, service that is recorded, uh, maintained by the mentor administrator. So uh, that might be done at the uh, university level or at the individual school level. Uh, this would be for standing committees of the faculty, uh, other such committees that are managed uh, university-wide or school-wide. Background page shows uh, educational history. Uh, as well as certificates and licensure, um, and then employment history, uh, and these become a part of the CV uh, and are important uh, for accreditation purposes. Miscellaneous tab uh, lists educational experiences, so this might be workshops or uh, uh, conferences that one has attended but not been a presenter. There's a research in progress page. Uh, miscellaneous items for anything else that uh, faculty might want to put in to their reporting. Uh, and then finally a research areas page where faculty can list their areas of research interest. And these keywords are indexed and searchable uh, on the reports page. In the next video I'm going to come back and talk about the deans and the chairs page. For now I'm going to return to the reports page uh, and show a quick search. Genetics and we run that search and Mentor is going to display uh, the, fact, the, the, the publications that it finds that have genetics either in the keywords or in the, uh, the titles. So this is a great resource uh, for faculty to find other faculty working in particular areas. Uh, your marketing or PR folks may want to use this to find faculty who are uh, working in particular areas when they get requests for interview and comment uh, by the press and so forth. The CV, <coughs> uh, this takes uh, most of the data in Mentor. Now you can see my name is X'd out for the purposes of, of demonstration uh, when it's possible that I'll show other users' names. Uh, we'll uh, have a little switch that turns off the name, so that's why my name is X'd out. Um, you see here we got some basic information on, on the faculty member, their picture, uh, their employment history, degrees, honors, publications and mentor simply loop, loop through each of the different types of publications, articles, chapters, books, and so forth. Um, presentations, we've got conferences, lectures and seminars, media interviews, uh, and then we've got grants, and then finally service. So you see here the committee service, uh, standing committee service, and then you see institutional service. Uh, so this, this report, uh, the CV, really pulls uh, together a lot of different data. Um, for that faculty member. <clears throat> the annual report, this is a calendar, calendar year annual report, so it looks a little bit like the CV, uh, but then shows the course enrollment data for that, that cal uh, calendar year, um, any course releases in that calendar year, any advisees, and then presentations. And you can see here that, uh, unlike the CV, mentors putting out some of these, uh, this meta information about the, the presentations and, and publications, uh, because that's appropriate for an annual report. Um, again, service, institutional service, professional service, and so forth. There's an annual academic year report, so this is the calendar year, this is by the academic year, so you can, uh, depends on what your needs are and, and what kind of report that uh, you want to generate. It's also a three-year report that takes a three-year window uh, based on the current year, but you can also extend that by uh, setting the start date and end date to any frame of reference that you want. Uh, and Mentor will pull in all the teaching uh, and then the publications and presentations over that uh, time period. Uh, each of these reports has a print to PDF function, uh, and it will just simply take this air, this content area of the report and print that to PDF uh, and uh, send that, that file to the browser. There are some summary reports, uh, so I'm going to pick on uh, my own department philosophy here and just do summary counts for the uh, full-time tenure track faculty and you'll see here that mentor counts up the articles, chapters, etc., all of the different ty types of publications uh, for the department. Um, if we want to actually look uh, at the um, publications by type, 
mentor will output those publications here. This is quite a long list, uh, and names aren't hidden in this context. Uh, but you can see here the list of publications for the departments. Uh, this is for all current full-time faculty. This could be limited to a date range. Uh, we can do this for uh, any of the departments uh, and any of the schools. Uh, there are some export options uh, so that uh, um, publications can be exported to RTF or HTML. So if you want to dump them into a Microsoft Word file, uh, RTF is good for that. Um, and then format. This is a new uh, feature in Mentor, and we're just developing the formats themselves. Uh, so we've only sort of created one for MLA format, uh, but we are in, in the process of uh, creating output formats for uh, you know, APA, uh, perhaps Chem Abstracts, and some of the, the other more popular formats. Uh, so in the next video, uh, we're going to look at the Dean and the, the Chairs page uh, and see how they have access to some of this data. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at sales at axiomeducation.com uh, or give us a call. Thanks.